Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Kingdom Faith Outdoors channel. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and I am the uh, minister slash uh, animal expert here here at this channel. And we, you know, you know, like the old saying, uh, you know, we we go out fishing, and also we uh, spread the word of God. Amen. So today is a top of Topical Sermon Sunday, um, and so today's sermon title, I, I would like to call this, Don't Doubt, But Believe, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through uh, 23, sorry, uh, 22 through 33, and uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and pray first, amen? Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for the day. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would come and change our hearts, change our minds, Father. And, uh, Lord, if we have sin in our hearts, Lord, Lord, we repent. And uh, help us, Lord, to believe in your word and to take action of your word, Lord. And uh, we thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Matthew chapter 14, 22 through 33. And it reads, And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. When he had sent the multitude away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, and tossed with winds, and for the, and for the wind was contrary. In the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went into them, walking on the sea, and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrible, saying, it is, uh, it is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is, it is I, be not afraid. Peter answered him and says, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he says, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind burst, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried saying, Lord, save me. Yet immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and called him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore dost thou doubt? And when they were came into the ship, the wind ceased. And then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of the truth, thou art the Son of God. Amen. So what do we have here? So being afraid or having some doubts can hinder your blessings or it can hinder the miracle that, that you are wanting to have. You know, this is a, 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 a proof that Jesus is the Son of God. And that many scriptures either prophesied about Jesus you know we, we, we see that Jesus is the Prince of Peace you know and you know when whenever you look to the right or to the left but not looking towards Jesus you know you are hindering yourselves from coming towards Jesus. We see Peter, you know, he was, he, he was doing fine, walking 
towards Jesus. But when the wind blew and the waves kind of picked up a little bit, he, he looks down. He was afraid and he began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. You know? And Jesus says, why a little faith? Why well, why you doubt? You know? Uh, we, you know, in our lives, we, we face many doubts. We face many uh, being afraid, you know. Uh, personally, you know, I've been battling with the fear of driving a car. I've been having a, a fear of failure, a fear of being homeless. And, and when I go through therapy and, and seeing a psychiatrist, you know, I believe that that this is just the beginning of my testimony. I believe that by faith, by trusting in the Lord, you know, I can overcome these fears. I can overcome these, these, these doubts that I have in my mind. Jesus taught his disciples to not doubt. Jesus was frustrated with his disciples about believing in him. You know, and and, 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 first, and Jesus was frustrated that why why so little doubt? You know, why you doubt? Why you have little faith? And as I as I study this passage, you know, it, it you know it, it's all about Jesus Christ living through us. Amen. Number two, look upon Jesus to be your miracle because you believe in Him. You know, personally, you know, I. I'm I'm a very persistent person, meaning I am I am you know able to be persistent of what I'm doing, you know, um, and I praise the Lord that God allow me to 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 keep on going. At the same time, believing that God is 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 showing me. How to live by faith. You know, the Word of God says that, um, uh, by, you know, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. How many of you are, 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 are doubting about your miracle, and that, and that the Lord spoke unto you, and, and, and the enemy sent the seed of doubt into your heart? For not believing in in Christ, in His in His promise, and so it is very crucial. It is very very crucial that we should be rooted by faith, and not by fear, and not by doubt. It is by His word that we live. Uh, that you know that we live by faith. <clears throat> Number three is that. By believing in Jesus, you can receive what you what you ask. For example, believe you will receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You know, it is by faith and it is by God's will that you are being baptized in the Holy Ghost, being filled with the Holy Spirit, and being filled by the fire of God in your hearts. So that you can serve the Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. And that and that you understand that well, excuse me. And that you understand the importance of receiving the empowerment of the Spirit just to walk by Him. Just to just to see signs and wonders and miracles. Um because you have the faith to believe. Believe that you will receive a new job opportunity or a new business opportunity that God wants you to have 
but because of your doubt, you do not receive it. Amen? And so, and so when you have faith in the Lord, you will receive your new job opportunity, or you will, you will take action to start that new, the new business venture that, that, that the Lord wants you to start. And, and, and not only be coming an entrepreneur, but also being a servant. Because not only that you are being a businessman or a businesswoman, you, you're also being a servant of the Most High God. It is by faith that we live, you know, in, in believing that Jesus is all in all. That, that, that we know that He is the Father and that, and that He takes care of us as His children. You know, as I, as I, uh, I remember watching an uh, internet historian and the video is about the man in the cave and this man was stuck in the cave uh, for I think I'm going to say I think 35 days he was stuck inside a cave and uh, but slowly and maturely, you know, he had faith for the people to rescue him out. But unfortunately, he passed away uh, due to the exposure in the uh, late winter and uh, froze to death. You know, he, he, you know, uh, you know, I believe in that, that he had faith with the people to get him out there. But it was too late and um but yet he believed he believed that, that he will he will make it out alive and he was persistent and and and, and um and just and just allowing not to doubt that he will die in a cave but believing that these people will help them to save him from the cave. As I close with this, I know it's gonna be a short short sermon, but God is God's on move. Uh, we should not doubt on what God is doing in the behind the scenes, but believe by faith that God can go that believe by faith that God is moving in a mighty way in your life. I think I think that that's that's a crucial part of being a believer in Christ is that we should be allowing ourselves to be used by the Lord and understanding that He is God, that He is the Lord of all. Amen. So that's all I got for today, folks. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.